question, how do you restore your gut after you've had antibiotic therapy? And part of that is how long you've had antibiotic therapy and which antibiotics. So some are going to disrupt the gut more than others, but the longer you use any antibiotic, the more you're going to get disrupt the gut. Um, one or two weeks, a little bit, several months, for a long period of time, many people with chronic Lyme disease have been taking antibiotics for six months or a year and they found out that they're not any better than when they started, uh, which really does cause you to question the value of antibiotics for treating the kinds of things that we're seeing with chronic Lyme disease. But nonetheless, a lot of folks are out there that are really struggling with this issue. And it was one of the things that actually turned me toward herbal therapy was I would get two or three weeks into an antibiotic and it would just rip my gut apart. Uh, loose stools, pain, discrump, dysfunction, bloating, uh, just the whole nine yards. And it's because what we're doing with the antibiotics is we're non-selectively uh, just suppressing all the microbes. And so pretty quickly, the more aggressive microbes develop antibiotic resistance. So you start having overgrowth of Clostridium difficile and, and Candida and a whole spectrum of other microbes in the gut that damage the gut lining and, and cause problems. Uh, so how do you restore that? How do you get better? Well, one, one thing is just stopping the antibiotic, but it takes a long time for your normal flora to come back. Can you help that? Um, and the answer is, is yes, absolutely. And like so many things, uh, in my opinion, herbs can be a central part of the equation. There are many herbs, uh, berberine and berberine containing herbs such as golden seal, coptis and Oregon grape are really the top of my list. Berberine is not well absorbed systemically, but it does have the effect of suppressing those pathogens and allowing the normal flora to recover. Many other herbs, andrographis, cat's claw, some of the standard herbs that we're using in our Lyme regimens are also very good at suppressing those gut pathogens and allowing the normal flora to flourish. So if you're using antibiotics and you've made that decision, I would definitely recommend the herbs on top of that. That can be very beneficial. Cutting out the things that feed bad bacteria in the gut, cutting out the carbohydrates, the grain-based carbohydrates and sugar especially can really help uh, restore gut. Uh, something that we put in our supplements is Slippery Elm that has mucilage and mucilage helps protect the gut lining. So you have a restoration of gut function so the gut can heal. So it's, it's basically restoring the mucus lining that protects the gut from the bacteria and allows the, the gut cells, the, the normal, the, the cells that line the gut that have villi or little microscopic projections that have been damaged, it allows them to recover. So slippery elm, berberine containing herbs, cat's claw, andrographis, diet. All of those things are really good for restoring the gut back to normal. Probiotics. Probiotics can sometimes be beneficial. Um, it's still really unknown how much a long-term probiotic uh, is beneficial or, or the exact right probiotic for the right situation. But most basic probiotics do have some benefit in helping to seed the colon with the, uh, and seed the intestines with the normal bacteria that, uh, that we need that are normal flora uh, and help overcome those pathogens. So that's very beneficial. But one I would put at the top of my list is one called Saccharomyces boulardii. Um, and this is a favorable yeast species, so it suppresses not only Clostridium difficile, difficile but also Candida. Um, so Clostridium dif, uh, Saccharomyces boulardii is a really nice probiotic to use. You can use it in combination with some of the standard probiotics that have, uh, that have lactobacillus and other favorable bacteria in them. So, Herbs, really important. Diet, really important. Probiotics can be beneficial. 
Most of the time the probiotics are just mainly beneficial until you get function back and then you finally get back to, to where you need to be. So those are some good options for recovering gut function after uh, prolonged use of antibiotics. Uh, if you find this information helpful, please check out my website, rawlsmd.com. Lots of great information there. And also uh, sign up for our newsletter. Uh, look for more of these videos. There are lots of great videos out there. Uh, have a great day. Take care. Thanks for watching this video. Please take the time to leave a comment below. And while you're there, uh, ask me any questions or if you have topics that you'd like to hear about, uh, pass those along. Um, and please subscribe to my channel so you'll have these videos coming your way regularly. Thank you.